guys, this is Cruz Roy. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the uh, Turnigy 9X 9-channel uh, radio. Of course, it only comes with an 8-channel receiver and uh, does bind with some of the uh, Hobby King uh, receivers, especially if you just need a 6-channel for a smaller heli like I just purchased uh, a Clone 250. But uh, a lot of people ask questions about the, uh, the LiPo mods and um, the EL mod. Um, I didn't catch it on video. I did do it. Um, my first one here, they're both version 2's and if you notice this one has a metal antenna. I don't know why and it's a very big antenna and that's the only thing I really didn't like about this radio uh, but I did do a LiPo mod and EL panel. Um, as you can see it's nice and bright you can read it the only thing I do not like about this radio is this big antenna and sometimes I like to fly close and that can be a little bit troublesome um, but I do have the second one here I'm waiting for my EL panel kit from eBay which is just a panel and a transformer an AC uh, transformer and I want to make a video on how to do it. It's not really that hard. Uh, it's just there's a lot, a lot of wires in here. Uh, not the full width. Um, my second one I just received uh, has the plastic antenna. And they're both uh, 2.4. It's supposedly the one with the metal antenna has a lot more range. Uh, so some people would call it an airplane, but they have both the same programming in them. Uh, this one right now is just your standard. Uh, I have no battery mod, uh, no EL panel, but it's on order. It's on its way, and I would like to videotape it this time. I did the other one, and hopefully uh, it helps someone out. Um, but the myths about the battery now, uh, let me talk to you about the battery. Uh, here's the old battery compartment, and people uh, on the forums are like, well, you just order them from Hobby King, and you get yourself one of them Rhino 2620s. And it is true, it, it, it fits kind of tight in here. Um, but I, you have to change the connector. If you notice, the connector is soldered. Uh, and I'll show you on the other plug, because when you purchase the Rhino 2620, it has a Futaba or JR connector on it, plus your four-wire balance charge. Unfortunately, the Turnigy, if you can see inside, both of these have a three-wire balance charge set up on them. Um, so it is a good battery. It does fit snugly in here, but you do have to do some modifications uh, to the battery, uh, which is dangerous. Some people don't like to do it. The LiPo has got a real good kick to it, but I discharged the battery before I did it. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of, there's enough room in here to get everything curly cued. Um, what I do want to mention is uh, I only charged this once, and I've had 50 flights so far with this thing and she's still reading 11 volts I'll show you in a minute like I said it's if it, it fits in there and you just gotta get the wires right uh, it's just a dangerous solder job and you should solder it tie the wires together make sure your positive and negative are correct and it, what it is is a, a three wire balance charge connector and you can buy a pigtail from any of your hobby stores uh, these are both mode 2 I mean, they can be changed to anything else, but um, like I said, this one here has the EL panel. And like I said, I charged the battery. Oh, it lied to me. It's 9.6 right now, but it's 50 flights. Normally, I'd put some double A's in this and probably get three flights and the thing's dead already. Or, you know, maybe five flights or so. So the mod is a very good idea on this, and I'm also running the EL panel now, so... Uh, so you got 50 flights, you know, at, you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes a piece, and I'm at 9.5, 9.6 volts right now. So they do last a really long time. I just didn't exceed uh, RC radio with a flat pack, 
and I'm trying to test how long it lasts now because that's a real battery pig. Um, but what I wanted to show you was, here's the original four battery pack, and the thing is, keep this. You can use the end off of this. I mean, you can do that. That's a simple fix. You just, uh, your positive, negative, it's already here. Cut the JR connector off of the, uh, the battery and solder this one on. You can do it. I bought a pigtail because I wanted to save this. If you ever sell the radio and you want to keep the lipo, lipo uh, you can just put the four batteries in there and boom, you're back to normal. But if you notice, uh, this is a three cell balance charger connector. So just to give you people all the myths out there that you can just buy a lipo pack and plug it in, it's not true because I have two here. They're both version twos. One was just recently purchased and they both have a three wire balance charger connector. So I mean you can. You can take this one. It's already in the right positions. Chop it. Solder it nicely to your battery because it's it's a real slow draw these lipos so you don't have to worry about the gauge of wire, it's perfect for it. Um, but that's what I wanted to come across and tell people um, that the LiPo from Hobby King, the Rhino 2620, does work. You just have to do a few things to it to make it work. All right. Um, that's all I need to say about that. This is Cruz Roy, and I'm out of here.